Hey, what is up my friends? Today we are going to be unboxing and reviewing the Skik Loki 2. Special shout out to Skik for sponsoring this video by sending me these units. If you want to learn more about their laptops, be sure to click the link down in the description. And if you wish to skip to a certain part, I have left timestamps below for your comfort. Now, the design in this thing is fantastic. It's like a super stealthy matte black chassis. Port selection is very standard, but just the way I like it. So here we have the USB-C, HDMI port, Ethernet port, and a power cable port. On the left-hand side, we have a USB port, a microphone and a headphone jack. Down here we have some speakers, very nice open bottom panel. I love that they place the stickers on the bottom, so the design looks even more sleek when you just open it. And on the right hand side, we have two USB ports and a SD card port. Now, the keyboard, it's a great keyboard, honestly. I don't like the way the arrows look, but hey, that's just aesthetics. It's very functional. It's a great, great keyboard, great to type on. Has some great key travel to it. You can actually see. A little thickness to the keys. You can type on them. It feels and sounds great. Now we have a little button over here which you can use to switch modes. Now it's an office mode, gaming mode, and turbo mode. The brighter the light gets, the more powerful it becomes. Now the screen is a 1440p 240Hz IPS panel with a 3 milliseconds response time, peaking at 300 its brightness, which is great for anything really. Personally, I really enjoyed playing shooters on this device as it felt like there was no delay.
Typing on the keyboard was a breeze, one of the better laptops to type on in my opinion. And the trackpad worked fantastic as well. And it was nice and precise and didn't bother me with ghost touches. Now the 92 watt hour battery lasted me for 6 hours and 30 minutes at battery saving modes and brightness set to 50%. A pretty good result. The software on the system is something else, and it allows full control over your system. This is part of the reason why I love this system so much. We have the famous Mux switch. You can force the system to use Max TDP instead of relying on dynamic boost. You can set a manual fan curve, and the screen color scenes are fantastic as well. Now next off, we are going to be doing some gaming benchmarks and fan sound tests on both the Loki 2 RTX 3070 Ti and 3080 Ti. Both laptops were recorded using a capture card or a camera. Mux switch is set to discrete graphics and maximum performance settings are enabled.
objectives and secure them. When the sector is secure, we'll push the Americans into the next one. Training's up. So should you buy the Loki 2? I think they are excellent contenders to more famous brands. The reason why I love them is because it checks every box I want to have checked when buying a laptop. The screen is extremely responsive and 1440p and the box switch is present. And the system allows full control over the GPU its power and manual fan curves can be set. On their website you can customize it even further. So be sure to click the links down in the description for actual pricing and to see what you can customize even more. And also make sure to hit that like and subscribe button if you like this video. Thank you so much for watching. Peace.